good to talk to you again. I, I am off to do a little bit of a shopping day. I am so ready for spring. I am excited for plants and getting our garden together. It's just, a, we're just in a rental, so it'll all be temporary things that we can hopefully take to a new place once we get one. Yeah, I'll get into all that a bit later, but right now we are going to Fort Collins and we're gonna do a little bit of a shopping trip. Okay, so we just got here. There are a few stores that I know I wanna go into. I desperately need a coffee first, so we're gonna go and grab a coffee and then we will get our day started. We're gonna go into Mugs, which is attached to the Armstrong Hotel, where Rolando and I stayed when we were here for our honeymoon. We really liked the Armstrong Hotel because it has this really good restaurant there, which is like a speakeasy style restaurant but I don't know if you can call it a speakeasy if they're saying yes we are here so anyway I'm gonna go into Ace Hardware because I'm trying to find um, planter like raised bed planters that I can use in our garden and I think they might have some oh and I also got my coffee which is lovely lovely start to the day so they have this one and it's like a green metal maybe i can show you on this side a green metal with a little tray at the bottom and i think this would be good the only issue is it's 200 dollars, and i would want multiple so that would get very expensive very quick so we might keep looking i also wonder too if we could like build one i don't know how complicated that would get but I also think Rolando would really like doing that, so maybe we'll do that. shops we went to in Fort Collins. I got a dress, a shirt, and then two things I wasn't planning on getting, a candle and a giant square of soap. It is like bigger than what I can hold in my hand. So I'm very excited. Um, the, I don't want to call them a, a candle shop because they're not that. It's like a, a scent shop. I think it's called Essentials. Um, but they are going to be getting more of like a minty and tomato basil type of candle. So that's what I'm in the mood for and that's what I'm on the hunt for. I have a Shudon candle that I absolutely love. It's just $250 for like a 
jar about that big and I went through it so quickly because I loved the smell and I burned it so fast. So I am looking for more economical options to check that box. I am also at the garden center and you may have remembered the garden center from when I came and looked for Christmas ornaments. Garden centers are still the most underrated place to get good Christmas ornaments. They always have beautiful styles, timeless styles. So um, we're back at the garden center again. They have tons of perennials out that I can see um, that are really, really beautiful. I am more so looking to see like what their herbs look like and what they have in stock for like veg and fruit seeds because I really want to do raised beds of vegetables, fruits, and herbs. I could potentially put it in planters. I just, planters won't hold as much as like a rectangular raised bed, I'm thinking. So we'll see. Um, but I want to just see what they have because I don't have the raised beds yet. As you saw from Ace Hardware, They're, those are $200 I cannot pay for, especially if I want like three of them. So we're going to see just what type of plants they have here at the garden center. And then hopefully when we get home, I will be able to start looking for like some raised bed um, schemas so that I can start to build them or like put together the material list that I need to build them. So let's get into the garden center. It is still windy as all get out, which is why my nose is all red. My poor little nose, it's so cold. So they have these, they're plastic, but they come with these little containers on the inside. And, and they're pretty much what I was looking for. They're only $100 each, so it's better than $200. i am gonna think about it. Ask Rolando and see if he thinks we should build one instead, because I would love to have three. This is exactly what I was looking for in terms of smell. It's amazing. I think it got one in my bag. I'm gonna see maybe what the time one smells like. And a lavender. watch the sunset, and eat pizza, and give Apollo his dinner. Um, but we're just driving up Trail Ridge, the first part of Trail Ridge Road. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> we're just driving up the first part of Trail Ridge Road um, so we can get to the outlook and watch the sunset in the valley. <laughs> Looks like a dinosaur.
so zoomed in. <laughs> okay, we just got back home with the extra bag of um, potting mix. So I am gonna get finished on the rest of the pots here, give everything a good big drink of water, and then we're gonna go into the backyard and get started on the other things we have, all the other plants. All right, everyone, it's a little messy down here, but just try to ignore that. Um, this is what everything looks like after it has been planted up. I think these look so good. I'm gonna have to give them a bit of a water, but this is lavender and the rock foil right here on both sides. Um, this little guy is the Avens. Look at those cute little flowers. Beautiful. Um, this one over here, the Primo Peach Berry Ice. I love the color, love the color of the leaves here. Um, and we're just gonna leave the grasses here as well, just to give a bit of texture. And then I put the other one over here as well, so just kind of bookends everything. But yeah, very happy with this. So I realize there's not a whole lot I can do out um, outside with these little guys or with the seedlings because they need to sprout. So what I'm gonna do, oh no, one's moldy. Um, what I'm gonna do is put these in water and hopefully, let's see, hopefully by tomorrow, I'll be able to plant these like after work. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is try to start um, potting up some of the seeds that I have and getting them to germinate. So, I may have gone a little overboard with the seeds. I wanna show you what I got and then what I'm actually gonna do right now. So, I have a number of wildflower mixes. A lot of them are mainly just to put into pots and kind of scatter around. Um, I have some single flower mixes like this foxglove or this hollyhock um, and snapdragon as well. I love these. I love the tall, these really tall types of flowers. Um, so fingers crossed they work for us. And then I got, of course, the just like the general wildflower mix to put in between them. Um, oh, and sweet peas. I got these. I've never tried these before, so we'll see. I've never tried any of these before, actually. Um, I also got these because they're really good for pollinators. So when we are planting vegetables or fruit or anything like that, um, having those pollinating plants around is really good to help these guys out too because they come to pollinate both. The ones that I'm gonna start off with, I think I'm gonna start off with these two. I have these little um, seed starter greenhouse kits as like the germination thing. I have two of them. So I was thinking one for the carrots, one for the tomatoes. Oh, look how tiny they are. Absolutely minuscule. Just put a few in each. I'm just dribbling them in. <laughs> Not like, you know, five here, five there. It's just kind of whatever falls out of my hand. I feel like I could have had, you know, 20 of these cases and it still wouldn't have been enough. There are so many seeds in here. Okay, um, I think what I'm supposed to do next is add a bit more water and then what we're gonna do is 
close it with the lid. And the whole point of something like this is that your seeds don't actually need sunlight in order to germinate. They really need warmth. So basically what the top is going to do is to keep all of the humidity inside of here so the seeds constantly have a source of water um, that's just recirculating. And then the actual size of these, you can see it's pretty thin. So they're gonna be able to fit nicely on a windowsill ledge and that's gonna be the heat that's gonna help them germinate. And hopefully soon we're gonna start to see just sprouting from all of these little guys. So let me give them a little bit of a water and then they'll be good to go on the sill. seeds go oh, ready for your catch up <laughs> hi everyone so um i just wanted to sit down talk with you catch up with you and kind of tell you where life has been for the past few weeks i know i mentioned um it had actually been around three weeks since we last talked which is crazy to think of and it's really, it's really because life was just so busy during the like March timeframe. Work was really crazy. Rolando's work was really crazy. We were trying to just find time to rest and relax after the work day and of course get ready for our trip to El Salvador. So that's really why I haven't spoken to you in so long. Um, but I'm so excited to get back to vlogging because I really did miss it. I missed getting to share parts of my life with you. I missed getting to talk about Colorado. It's one of my favorite things. So um, we're back and we're gonna, we're just gonna have a little catch up. Um, probably the biggest thing that I have to tell you is that we obviously just got back home from El Salvador and it was such a magnificent trip. Um, I think I had mentioned to you that, Rol <laughs> sorry, he's being needy. Um, that Rolando hadn't been back in about 22 years. So it was just a really special time for him to like recognize things that he saw from his childhood. And of course we got to see kind of all of our family who lived there, which was really amazing. And we got to stay with them. So we were there for about a full week. And um, during the first part of the week, we stayed with our tia and it was fantastic. We had such a good time. We hiked a volcano and I'll insert clips and everything here. Um, but yeah, we hiked a volcano. We got to go to the beach, which was absolutely out of this world. Salvadorian beaches are like par none. They are fantastic. Um, we also got to go kind of into the mountain area of El Salvador and we got to go to a few different mountain towns, which is where we actually bought all of the pottery that we brought back. So that was really exciting. Um, and then we spent the other part of the week at my sister-in-law's parents' house. So Rolando's brother's wife, her family. And it was just such a fun time. We got to hang out with our nieces. We got to see the town where Rolando and his brother grew up. We were there for Easter, actually. We left on Easter Sunday, but we were there for like all of the Easter festivities and the celebrations and it was just such a fantastic time. I know Rolando and I are itching to go back next year. I can feel that you are needy. I can feel the neediness boiling inside of you. So yeah, now we're back home. Um, we <laughs> Now we're back home with this needy little boy. He was at daycare and he had a lot of fun, but we missed him terribly. Um, so yeah, now we're at home. We're just relaxing for the rest of today. It's Sunday, tomorrow we start work again on Monday. Um, I think that was really the biggest update I wanted to share with you all in terms of life. Um, in the next few vlogs you can definitely expect like we are going to be here in Colorado doing all the Colorado things, all the hiking, all the exploring, everything that kind of you know to expect from us. So we're really excited to continue bringing that to you. And yeah, if there's anything specific that you want to see or that you're interested in about Colorado, please 
always let me know in the comments. Um, one, it helps to give such great ideas for us for what to show you, but then two, it also just makes sure that I'm giving you the type of info and content that you're looking for. So um, I think we're going to probably call it a day, this little sleepy boy in the sun. Yes, you sleepy boy in the sun. Um, we're probably just gonna relax for the rest of the day, watch movies, hang out. Orlando's changing the differential fluid on his car. So I'm gonna let him handle that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, thank you again so much for spending the weekend with us. We had such a great time showing you around Colorado again, despite the kind of crappy weather at the beginning of the vlog. And we will see you next time. Hey, Bubbish. We'll see you next time. Yeah. Yeah.